Hello there. My name is Allison, aka The Coffee Knitted Creative. I love everything art, planners, journals, and all the things between. If you're new, yay, way to find me. Hope you like it. If you're back, welcome back. So today I'm working in my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec on April 13th and 14th, which, which was a Tuesday and Wednesday. And as you can see, I've collected many a ephemera, <laughs> maybe not ephemera, but pictures and whatnot that I've, I've printed. So the pictures you see are actually from my phone. I printed them um, via my printer on clear matte label sticker paper. And that top bun image is from some vellum that I got which was supposed to be used as a dashboard back when I used to do TNs in the way, way back times, <laughs> like at least two years. I don't recall the company either, but I feel like quite a few companies have that like top bun look. Anyways, uh, I cut everything at least kind of and tried to get a sense of like maybe where I'd want it to go. And then I got out my color bursts and then I got out a paintbrush. And as you can see, it is a sea of blue on the 13th of April. Oh, so much blue. So what I will say is that this color burst is so highly pigmented. It is, like it sounds, a burst of color that is like basically powder that's activated with water. And I wanted to move it around the page. But when I started using that paintbrush, it was just like, wow, you know, a little too much. So then I used some paper to sort of sop some of that color and water up. And now I'm using what is called bleed proof white to try to bring down the blue even more. So um, I just have like a piece of scrap paper and a tiny little brayer and I'm just moving that bleed proof white around the page. Now, one thing I come to regret later, which I will warn you about now, is the bleed proof white is difficult to write on, which I didn't really think about, but that's okay. Um, I do like it because it is very hard to see what's behind it, I guess you could say. So then I bring back the pictures and the images and realize that there's just no place for those feet. Even though on this day, it was the first day that I wore sandals in a long time, definitely this year, like out in public. Uh, it was such a nice day. It was gorgeous. Hence all these pictures I took. I mean, oh, this was just my normal day, but I wanted to take pictures of it. That street that you saw me just stick down is just one of my favorite streets in uptown of Chicago. And then because the following day, that Wednesday was pretty uneventful, those magnolia tree, I think that's what they are. Um, those purple flowers that are part of a tree. <laughs> um, those were also taken on that same day on Tuesday, but I just decided to use it on Wednesday as well. So it was just like a gorgeous, sunny, beautiful day. I took a walk and I was just like, I couldn't stop taking pictures. Anyways, um, the reason why I chose the image of the top bun girl slash that, you know, forehead is because on this Wednesday, it was just a getting stuff done Wednesday. 100%. I don't even think I... I didn't do anything of note. One thing I do want to note, though, is this washi. Can you guys see this washi? I love it. Um, one of my friends owns a company called 28 Inc. And it is a sticker company. But she just got in this washi that is Chicago flag washi. So, of course, I had to buy two rolls. Hence, I needed to put it on my page. Anyways, then I put down the 14 stickers, which were from a uh, Amy Tangerine pack of like letters and numbers. And then I went through my days of the week and numbers from printables and found two, which I had printed the Tuesday on regular sticker paper and the Wednesday on clear matte label sticker paper. I'm fairly certain maybe not the Wednesday. If that Wednesday is not my own, it is from Loveland's Life. The Tuesday I did, I, I wrote that Tuesday. So then I just decided to do a little bit of coloring, doodling, outlining, all those fun things. And then I am grabbing stickers. And this also is an Amy Tangerine pack. Wow, I just realized it. 
But those that Amy Tangerine pack I actually got from a D stash table. I think in a at a planner event in Ohio again years ago, and uh, I really love it. Like I hope I run into it again in my life so I can I can get it again. <laughs> that was probably my best D stash run ever. And if you don't know what a D stash is, um, at planner events, basically it's where people bring all the stuff they don't want, and then it all gets dumped on the table, and then everybody like rummages through it to take stuff that they do want so it's basically like like a free pile yeah it's a free pile anyways then I grabbed some white out and um just put some white out on the sides of that picture of the street because I wanted to sort of blend it into the page then I just journal about the day I basically talk about how great the weather was and how I had some great conversations and then on Wednesday about how it was just a top Fun, getting stuff done kind of day. I mean, that's basically it. So this is how the page turned out. I love it. Again, boring days, but cool pages. I guess that's my life now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.